I just wondered, uh, what is the latest news out there about the horse? Well, actually, there's, uh, you heard the veterinarian's report that the government hired to come in here. You mean Dr. O. Adams? Yeah, yes, uh -huh. and then there has been some different people in investigating since then, and there was, uh, a, a, a week ago Sunday, there were some people here from Afro who felt that the hype was as if it had been tanned. But other than that, it's just people who just keep coming to watch, to look at the horse, and Life Magazine is just here all afternoon and evening, the lady just left. Well, what about the horse? still don't have any answer. Is the horse still on the ground? Yes, it's still there. Isn't it uh, putrefied? Well, it never did smell. This is another odd thing about it. It never had the odor of a dead animal. Uh, is there something else odd about uh, no, no, uh, it? Uh, you know, mostly the, the hide and the hair hasn't slipped like it should have. I mean, it's more like it's been tanned. Now, Mrs. Uh, Lewis, how many times have you ever seen an animal uh, that's been dead 30 days or 40 days? Oh, quite often because I was raised on a zone of horse and cattle ranch. And you've seen them dead for, for long periods of time? Oh, yes, and I was raised in the mountains up there where you see dead deer quite often. And so you felt that there was something funny about this animal? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, it was cut absolutely from right into the bone, and then the head and neck looked like it had been dead for years. What I'm, what I'm talking about is, I'm talking about the rest of the carcass itself. Now, uh, have you talked to any other pathologist about the innards, you know, the, uh, the abdomen part? You, did anybody tell you that there should have been, you know, intestines and things yes, of this nature? the veterinarian here says that in a month's time, this should have been gone. There is a horse out here on the game refuge that the manager and one of the employees found the other day that they know has been dead, so a year. So they opened and looked, and they said the organs are still uh, recognizable, however they're dried up and shriveled up to nothing, but they are recognizable in the horse. Oh, uh, yeah. They have eaten out by coyotes. They also opened the brain cavity, and there was still substance in there. And they know this horse has been dead a year. Well, this is really something. Yes, I thought it was very interesting, and they were going to take pictures and mail this information to Dr. Cotton's office. Now, I haven't talked to them the last few days. I don't know if they've done this, but they were going to. Mr. Lewis, Mrs. Lewis, I found a picture of you in the Sunday Times of New York City. Oh, really? Yes, and uh, you were right next to the horse. And uh, I was just wondering if there's a possibility of getting uh, <laughs> any picture that you, that you might have in your possession. Any, even a print will make the uh, negatives out of it, of uh, the horse uh, or of you around it, you know? Things that, like that. I don't know why we were very foolish. We didn't take any pictures of us at all. We did take pictures of the NICAP team working near the horse. What about the horse itself? And we have several pictures of the horse that the Bureau of Seacom has, and I've written for the negatives, and I haven't received them back. But I'm sure they will return them. If you if you get any kind of uh, photographs or things of that nature, would you send them along to us? We've also written a letter to the Pueblo Chieftain for any photographs or any articles that they've written, you know, knowing that you do some writing there yourself. Well, I did, but I've been so busy on the horse deal the last five weeks, I haven't been able to do my job at all for it. Hmm. Have you had any other uh, strange sightings out there? Oh, yes. Uh, in the last three weeks, people have been calling me with what they're seeing, and we took a correspondent from the newspaper out last Saturday night, and we saw this object on the ground and watched it a while and uh object on the ground some businessmen had to take the bar pit here about a week ago or 10 days ago one was right in the highway outside of town here and uh it, it just keeps going on you know these saucer sightings you saw something you yourself saw something on the ground uh, we certainly did from what distance about three would you say three miles
roads out there in, in that area. No, not in the area where, and this is the area below the horse. For some odd reason, that most of the sightings are in that area. Let me ask another question. What about the maggots that were supposedly present in the other horse? Didn't you say something on the order that the maggots on the, uh, on, uh, oh, what's that his name? Uh, the horse, the snippies were dead and the maggots on the other one were alive? That is correct. I had told the nightcap team when they came, they said, wonder why the maggots have died on here. And I said, well, they froze. It's been below freezing at night here. But when we went on to the other horse later, they were alive and working very strong. How far uh, away? Some bacteria in the head. <laughs> How far away was that? Uh, it's about three miles southwest of, of Snippy's body. How about the altitude? About the same? Same altitude. Uh huh. Is there anything else that uh, you might have to say? No, I have heard nothing from any of the tests or analysis, and this I don't understand because they promised NICAP put many pictures and slides of the strange cracks and holes and all this. And they promised to send us a set of the pictures and the results of tests. We have had absolutely nothing out of them, except government put out some reports that were in distinct disagreement with the facts. Uh, which ones would you say those were? I read in an article where they said there were no black markings. Hundreds of people had seen these when the NICAP people came. They asked the spectators, some of the local people here, to stand on the bigger spot, biggest of the spots near them. We formed a circle, 75 feet across. And when they stood on the smaller spots around the big spot, again it was a circle 15 feet in diameter. Now, uh, why did the government office put out the fact that there were no black spots? These things I don't understand what they're doing up there. Now, wait a minute. Now, you're talking about black spots. I understood the, the black spots. You mean the, uh, you mean the whole circle of 75 feet was black? No. North, uh, southeast of the horse there, about 70 feet from the horse, there were these black smudge marks that looked like car exhaust was shot on the ground. Yes. Oh, some of them were 10 inches, some of them 18 inches across. All round? They were not exactly round, no. They were not, you know, completely. Did they make a circular mark? Did they go around the circle? Well, no. About every few feet from the, is, we picked out these bigger black spots. Mm -hmm. Some of them were, oh, four to five feet apart, some of them a little further. But when people stood on the biggest of these spots all around there, they, the people formed the circle. Right. 75 feet across. That is correct. Now, why didn't you pick up some of that black material yourself and save it? I have some in my trunk of my car right now. Is there, I sure do. Let me ask you a question. If you went down to the drugstore and got yourself a little vial, or if you had one at home, would you mind sending us some? I will do it. Will you, really? I have a little bit in a plastic bag that I took the first week after the horse was killed. And it's still in the trunk. If you'll send us some of it, you don't have to send us all. I want you to keep some of it. Because uh, I think you should have kept some of that for your own, uh, you know, uh, for your own self. But we'd like to have any portion of it that you'll send us. All right. Anything that you have that uh, you would like, you wouldn't mind sharing with us, we'll pay for anything. A little bit of that mane that, burnt, that I it left the mark on my hand, or at least it, I found it in the bush where I first found it. I'm sure it's the same mane. I could put a little of that in. Fine. Hey, secondly, I, I read in that Sunday paper that uh, you found a piece of material about the size of a chicken liver and about the same shape. And when you broke it open, uh, some greenish, uh, light green material came out of it. Is that right? That is correct. And this same green paste is on the ground around the horse. How much of it? Color. Oh, it's a thin coating, but it's a, a bright uh, apple green, a beautiful green. Right. And it is not low. You don't have any of that. Well, I can get some. I mean, they're still around the horse. Well, I would, uh, we would uh, appreciate anything you can do for us in that respect. And we're doing everything we can to break this mystery as much as we can anyway, and we're willing to help you if you're willing to help us a little bit. I would like to get some of this to someone who would truthfully give me a report on it. I'm we sure the government has no intentions of giving out any report. All right, I'll tell you what we do. We, uh... We intend to do something with it. We'll see what we can do about a chemical analysis. I would like to send you a piece of the hide. There have been some gentlemen look at it and say it is like it has been tanned in a tannery. So I would like to put a piece of hide in. Okay. 
I'm just wondering, though, if uh, the chemical uh, processes of, of keeping that animal out there for such a long time in a dead state wouldn't change the hide to a darkness. Well, it is a dark, but it, is, it has a pliability, and the hair hasn't slipped. I see. In other words, it's like you'd had a chance. Huh. I don't either, but we can find out somebody that does. Uh, so I seem not to get animals that I never even thought of cussing the hide or no Mm-hmm. So I don't know, but there have been several that say, well, this is just like it's been canned. And the hair has not slipped on it like it should. There you go. There's another horse over there. All the hair has slipped off all around the head and shoulders and off of the hide. Is that right? And no but my horse, it has not. And no tanning on it.
At what point did they suggest you were lying? Well, he said that the, the tracks were probably there and we didn't see them. The blood was there and we didn't see it. We were smelling thistles, not something else. There are no black marks. There, well, he said there were none. There definitely is. These kind of things I don't understand. And you did uh, volunteer a lie detector test? I certainly did. You've got nerve. What? I said you've got a lot of nerve. I was telling the truth, sir, and I'd be glad if anybody will give me one, because not only I, but my husband and my older brother are, are not people who go around lying. And you all volunteered again? Absolutely. Very good. And I still do. And the Life Magazine representative was here today, and I asked her to see if she could make arrangements to see that I was given one and not have a government investigator read it, though. Some reliable person to read it. Right. Not connected with the government. Some neutral person. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Well, you've given us quite a bit to think about here. Well, I'll probably end up in the rock pile around. No, you won't. The government. But I am telling the truth, and they're not. That's right. Well, I'm telling you the truth. This is what they've done. What the government office did. But I'm sure they only go in to get the evidence and whatever they can get, and so they can turn around calling you liars, and they try to get away with everything you've got. <laughs> well, it seems that way anyway. Maybe there's a reason, but uh, I, I don't quite fathom it. I wouldn't have believed it two months ago. I just wouldn't have believed it myself, but I do now. All right. In other words, now, from the, uh, there has been no further development as far as the horse is concerned. Nobody else has taken another pathological test of it. Not that I know of. Uh, what about this anonymous pathologist? The, I've heard nothing from him other than the first call and said it would be three weeks at least before he could get his cultures made. And I have never heard another thing from him. I know. But you do know him, though. Well, I uh, I thought I knew him. He gave me this name. Then someone mailed me a picture of some scientist. And his, I think it's his picture and it's a different name what he gave me. Is that right? So there you are. I guess you didn't give me his name in the first place. So are, you, are you afraid of giving us uh, the, the scientist's name? Well, I promised him I would not. Oh, that's right, too. But he said he wouldn't give me the results of the test. Oh, boy. But he exists, and uh, I could get you at least 12 in Alamosa who could tell you they listen to it all. Of reputable people who could tell you all he said and who watched him do it. I see. There were about 20 of you, weren't there? Yes. There were six college students whose names I don't have there mm. that night, but... Uh, I I have at least uh, 12 names that I could get. There is a photograph you should have taken. Yes, he wouldn't let me take a photograph. Oh, that's right, too. Anonymous again. Yes, he wouldn't let me. Right, I see. Well, I think uh, we've learned a heck of a lot. The more you talk, uh, the more we seem to get. <laughs> well, we just haven't, actually, we just haven't learned anything. We're right where we were at the beginning. Yes, I realize. We're going to see the horse. I still receive a lot of calls, a lot of mail that I've been unable to answer at all. I haven't got any homework done, and it just keeps going on and on. And yet we still don't have any more answers than we have. Now listen, and we haven't got any answers yet, and we've seen a lot of things, and we've heard a lot of stories. And so don't expect answers so quickly. You're impatient. Yes, I'm <laughs> very impatient. <laughs> That's true, I guess. Yes, it's true. All right, then I'll tell you what now. Uh, you promised us some things, and we're going to hold you as an honorable person to those promises, or we'll pester the heck out of you. Well, I am not going to put it with my stack of stuff. You won't believe me, but I have got a, a huge dish pan full of letters and addresses. I will tape it up here by the phone, and that way I can't get mixed up. Fine, because we've made three telephone calls out there, and each one of them is a costly thing. And uh, we're very, very happy to have talked to you tonight, and I uh, hope to hear from you again very soon. Well, I appreciate your interest, and you're interested in the truth. Okay, then, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Lewis. Thank you. And good night, and uh, we do appreciate those. Good night, and thank you. Good night.